Here is a video where I'm going to demonstrate how we can show the gauges from the GPS of the GoPro Hero 7 or for that matter 5, 6 or 7 on the screen with the video from the camera itself. So first of all we've got to download GoPro Quick and you can find that easily on the internet. Once you've done that you can install your media as you see here. So I've just got a few clips already imported. And then we're going to select the one we want to put the gauges over. What we'll ultimately be doing is outputting the clip for use in our project when we go to edit later. So first of all we'll select our clip and I'm going to use this one up here on the right. I've double clicked that and that opens it up in this window. First thing you notice though is it's upside down because when I ran the camera I filmed upside down. So we can just go down to this rotate 90 degrees symbol at the bottom, click it twice and now it's up the right way. It's that easy. Anyway let's um, just turn the gauges on. It doesn't matter if we've got the whole clip selected at the moment we can indicate everything. I might leave out the path now let's put the path in. We've got the speed, we've got everything. We'll put everything on and we'll put GoPro on just so that we can, um, you know, identify where it's come from in the future. You notice you can have complete custom control over what you want to show on your video. So we'll save those settings and now it loads them up. And you can see how it all looks. So up here we've got the track, so we'll be going around this way. Down here we've got our speed. Now you can set speed. Your speed can be set metric or imperial. In this case, of course, I've got kilometers per hour. We're in Australia. Um, in a trike, of course, or a microlight, or any aircraft for that matter, we typically um, use knots, but that option's not available in this case. And you've got your compass heading here. You've got the G-forces. We're unlikely to see any of those while we're flying in this situation. These are our speeds. Now there's no, this is just indicating that it's increased or decreased as it were. And the time it was shot. Don't know why that's done that. Um, we've got our elevation gains and altitude, current altitude, so, uh, and distance from the beginning of this track, of this video clip, I would think actually, because at the moment it's indicating that we're at the beginning of the track up here. So we can move each item, we can put them all along the bottom and we can just tidy things up how we want to see them. I might put this up here for example and we could move this down into this bottom right corner like so. Obviously don't move them so far out that they're going to be cut off when you go to do your final edit in your project. And the GoPro symbol, well let's chuck it over here just to show you that I can. So the next thing we want to do is identify where we want the clip to start and finish. So on the scissors icon down the bottom, we create a clip. Just wait for that to open. And this is where we do this. So we can drag this slider in from the left until we find the point where we want it to start. And you can see it on the track too. It's following us along on that blue line. I'm going to start it here. And we do the same from the right to set the end point of the clip. So we can drag it from, say we don't want it too much, go to about here. And that's going to be the length of our clip. It's 1 minute 52, as you can see here. That's the total length of our clip. Just for argument's sake of this video, let's make it 2 minutes. Now oh, that's close enough. So that's how you do that. And now all you've got to do is save the clip in the bottom right corner, hit the save button. It'll now give you an option to select where, it's going to save it in an edit folder in the same location as the video clip is located. So you can leave it with that name and then you can identify it with the video clip itself. Or 
in this case, we'll change the name to um, example gauge clip. And then you can select the resolution. Now I filmed this in 4K 25 frames a second. You can also select 10p or you can make it a custom. So custom we can select all of these options and these options depending on what the uh, camera settings were and what's available. So we'll leave it in the, as I said, we'll leave it in the 25 frames per second 4K option and save. Now let's um, leave it there. That's all you need to see. I will now put it into the editing software and you can see how it looks.